Hello everyone, welcome to Oracle Hits in Cloud. Let's have a look at how to use payroll batch order. Let's go to our navigator. And uh, click on uh, payroll. Administration. And task area. Click on battle order. Download it. You can download it to the desktop. Okay. Open it up. Enable editing if it's asked for it and it will come up with the connection request so click yes and stick in your uh, instance login details Because we have already uh, installed the plugin before, you will be able to see this particular tab here and all the relevant uh, ADF uh, components and buttons here. Okay. The thing we need to remember is it's always better not to click or double click here and there when you are when you're on this stretch. Okay. So let's. Um, we need few information here. Um, usually, it will be provided. Um, it will be provided. So basically. Uh, the legislative data group and uh, assignment name and uh, what's the source whether we're gonna uh, it, it depends on what we're gonna do so over here um, what we're gonna do we're gonna add a payroll uh, for an employee so we should be provided with the source whether it's a monthly weekly payroll and uh, legislative data group and the assignment number okay so let's uh, for this example, let's go to an employee and uh, find the details. So let's go back to the instance. Click on navigation. Present management. Search for an employee. So let's search for Lee. Right. Um, Okay, so we found that um, E5161 is his uh, assignment number, and this is the legal employer. So we just need to find out the legislative data group. So for that, we'll just go to Navigator again, look for structure, and if you go down, you will be able to see legal entity exam information. So if you click on that one, Search with the legal entity we copied. Click on it. The payroll detail, uh, payroll statutory unit details may not appear straight away. So click on legal employer and click back on, and you will be able to see. So the LDGs, US legal, US uh, legislative data group. Okay. So now let's go back to. So we got all the information what we need now. So let's go back to the spreadsheet. So let's give a unique batch name there to start with. So MW It's Lady Data Group. We just need to pick up from the LOE. Because we know which one is it. Okay. Once you've done that, put the cursor somewhere else and then click on save. Click OK. Make sure you will get the status as row inserted successfully. Once you've done that, double click on the batch name. Once that's done, click on batch content sheet, which is the second tab. Make sure you got the LDG next to the batch name. 
once you're happy with that one click on uh, anywhere under this particular line or you can click on under the task name and then uh, add so we're gonna search for the task we're gonna do today and today we're gonna I'm gonna search with the action name I'm gonna do add payroll So click on add payroll, okay. So you're gonna add add a payroll uh, for an employee or multiple employees. So let's double click on add payroll. So as you can see, you will you will get uh, more information here. So let's add line sequence one and we know the assignment number for the employee which we're gonna try is e5161 arrow we're gonna do it as monthly effective start date and uh, we will do it from uh, today so let's make sure you're gonna enter the date in the right format and legislative data group and um, it's not mandatory so you could leave it once you've done that click on save again okay and just make sure you got the status here as row service explorer so this is all we're doing with the um, with the spreadsheet when you need to enter uh, data or payroll for um, say 500 or 1000 uh, employees what you need to do is you come here just right click here insert new row carrying on insert inserting row and then you will be able to fill the details here okay so let's go back to so that's all we've done with the done with our spreadsheet uh, side so let's go back to our instance so we just need to go to uh, navigator payroll administration task area and we click on submit a process or report okay we need to find the legislative data group we're going to deal with so as we know it is us legislative data group scroll down and uh, look for transfer batch once you've done that click next next oh uh, we need to give a batch name so if you remember what was the batch name we provided if you got any doubt or if you can't remember it just flick it and go back to the spreadsheet and you will be able to see bmw underscore payroll as well so so that's the one do that one here have it it should come up itself as well as your okay click on it and if you want you can give the same as the payroll flow name next next again as soon as possible next and so on Don't click on OK, but click on OK and view checklist. If you're familiar with the HDL uploader, uh, you know what we're talking about. Just click on uh, refresh and then watch for the status. So that's all been done okay now we need to check it so let's go to the navigator 
go to the person management and search for employee Lee. and go to the task area click on error relationships scroll down you'll be able to see what we added monthly with that date so that's how we create uh, or that's how we add a payroll uh, relationship in this instance hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching